I think it's very important to, to let out that there's probably a lot of spoiler alerts in today's video. Of the history of his work, what her fault. <laughs> probably. And, and so I think it's really important that you just know when you start to watch this video. Just for the spoiler, spoiler alerts. Alert. Yeah. We should put that at the beginning of the yeah. video. Warning. Cumberbatch. Sure. Cumberbatch. Hi, I'm Jason. And I'm Zach. I'm Mrs. Felty. I'm Marcos. I'm Anna. And welcome to the Weekly Show. So guys, it's been a freak fall and we've been having a really big snowfall. Uh, what do you guys want to do during that time? Drink hot cocoa and watch scary movies. I love jumping in the snow. I like to play video games and cuddle with my dogs. I like sleeping. Very nice. So we, Anna, you just mentioned that you like to watch scary movies. You know, I like to watch movies too when it's snowing outside because when it's snowing, I don't really want to do anything, right? You guys yeah. agree? Yeah. So, what do you think we should talk about today? The last How about movies? movies. How about movies? Yeah. yeah. Okay, alright. Movies that we watched at home? Yeah, yeah. The, the, last last the last ones. The last ones we watched? Okay, yeah. great. Okay. So, uh, welcome to the weekly show, guys. Today we're going to talk about movies that we just recently watched at home. Just like Zach was saying, it's been snowing and everything, right? And uh, we want to give you guys some recommendations. So, uh, first up, we've got Anna to share with us the movies she just watched. So the last movie I watched was The Collector, which was, came out in 2009, and I saw it in Netflix. It's about this um this party that was supposedly turning really like gross and bloody. The girl she she somehow got kidnapped by this guy who collects human bodies. It's a scary movie, so obviously. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys really see bloody. Movie? No, I don't. It's really movie. bloody. I, I recommend not to watch it because the girl. At first, she see she she goes inside this room, right? Yeah. And she sees this red box, and she looks, she stares at it, and it moves, and she opens it. I'm like, bro, dude, why won't you open a box that is exactly. moving? And she opens it, and everyone <laughs> dies because of her. <laughs> Moral of the story: Don't open the red box. Moral of the story: How did you? Yeah, I guess. Netflix. I Netflix. <laughs> Netflix. Well, I was bored. My brother and, me, my, and his friends were bored, so yeah. we were just like. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Marcus, what about you? Well, I think the last movie I watched was Chronicles of Riddick, and that was made 2014. Um, it's about this guy, he came from a different universe, and he was a really good assassin, and he was good at killing people, and um, there's this army that wanted to kill him, and um, they were trying to kill him, and that, but he was really good, and he just started killing them all, and taking them all out by one by one. Um, but towards the end, uh, if you kill the leader of the army, you end up being coming the leader. And uh, um, Vin Diesel was the actor, and he actually ended up becoming the leader on an accident by killing the really good leader. Nice. And this, when did this movie come out? 2004. Yeah, and so I've actually seen the entire span of this, you know, this series because I'm a huge nerd, and <laughs> the first movie is Pitch Black, which is amazing. So if you haven't seen it, if your parents allow you to watch it, because it's rated R, then you know, then you can watch it. Um, and then they also had a, a recent one come out. 2014. Riddick? Yeah, Riddick. The like the oh. last one of the sequel. Did you see that one? No, but I want to see that one. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> so my movie, um, you can see it on HBO or HBO Go. It was released in 2013. I watched The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Any of you guys see that movie? I did. You, know? you saw it? Yeah, it's what did you really think good. It? Yeah. Did it make it's, you cry? Yeah, but I think it's like it's kind of confusing. Kind of confusing. Yeah. So Secret Life of Walter Mitty is about this man named Walter Mitty who works at Life Magazine. And what he does is he is in charge of all of the film from all of the pictures of the many, many years that Life Magazine has been around. And when we're talking film, we're talking actual, like, film. You guys know cameras that use film? Yeah, the brown. Okay. The, brown the brown film. Yes, the brown film. Showing my age here. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, he's using, um, he's in charge of all this film, and it's him... Um, trying to find this one picture out of all of these pictures that like this famous photographer did for the final issue of Life Magazine. 
because they have these like young guys come in and try and like take over the magazine, you know, because they're going to go digital and everything. And it's just really great because it shows Walter Mitty, who is this man who just normally sits behind a desk, get out, get adventure, and look for this this picture. It's really good. It's kind of a it's kind of a tear jerker. It's like how many of you guys saw Up? Oh, you all saw Up? Yes, yeah. yeah. when you were talking about really. So you know in Up, like the first ten minutes, everyone cries at the first ten minutes yeah. of Up, right? Yeah. yeah. All I see is an old guy really fat. I don't have emotion. That, oh. what? Well, anyways, so it's kind of that same idea, right? You're watching this, and it just kind of pulls at your heartstrings. So. I really like Secret Life of Walter Mitty, and it's you know it's up on HBO right now. What you're going to watch? It was maybe like 2000. Wait, I guess something about it. Is it just Skip Journey or something it's like that? It's not based on a true story, but it is a re-release. They had that movie. They made like a movie of it a long time ago, I believe. So yeah, um, out of all of that, here comes my favorite movie, which I just re recently watched many times, which is Star Trek Into Darkness, which just came out in 2013. Of which is the second movie from the original uh, Flash <coughs> came out. It's called the remake of The Wrath of Khan. <laughs> Somewhat, yeah. So basically what happened was that Captain Kirk and his uh, second lieutenant, uh, sorry. Commander, sorry, Spock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spock. <laughs> so they all come back uh, to uh, the motion pictures where they find a new enemy, which is Khan. <laughs> Played by uh, Cumberbatch, was it? Um, Cumberbatch? Yeah. Oh, Sherlock, which is my favorite guy um, <laughs> next to Doctor Who. So basically, what they do is that the USS Enterprise comes back to find that Khan is a terrorist or somewhat a um, person who wants to take control of either the Enterprise or that new. Uh, Ship, uh, the USS. Um. Awesome town. All right, the last movie I saw was the Twenty Two Jump Street. It was out in two thousand fourteen. It's about these two guys who was pretending to be at college. They uh, they were like detective and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then they were. It's it's really a funny movie, and it's a rated R too. So every episode, I'll be saying a riddle. And today's riddle and it is if if you have me, you want to share me. If you share me, you have me got me. What am I? If you have me, you want to share me. Fully. If you share me, you haven't gotten me. Pack of potatoes. What am I? Food. F the a cold virus? No. Oh. People don't want to share a cold virus. Oh. I mean they can share coffee? foods. If you have me, you want to share me. Coffee? What? Well, no, we're not <laughs> I have no idea. This is it's a secret. secret. Oh! <laughs> oh my God! I get it. First period class. Donate. Donate. Canned foods and non perishables like bags of pasta and things like that. Miss Felty's first period class should be the winner. <laughs> there's no prizes. Yes, there are. There are? Yeah, yeah there's there like a Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. Wait, what? Oh, God. What? Yeah. All right. Another um, Wednesday is a teacher development day, so it's an early release. And just let so you guys know, what time does school start? 7.45. What time should you get here? 7.45. I've been late this whole week. You're in 736 and you're late. I'm in so much trouble. Yeah, you are in so much trouble. Alright, so until next time, next week's Thanksgiving, and we'll have a special show next week for everybody. And until next time, goodbye. Bye!